In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your John Ellis Electron 5 water distiller. When it first arrives in the mail, it's going to come in five parts with some accessories. You're going to get the lid. You're going to get the main body. You'll get two UV lights. If you're using Electron 4, you'll get one UV light. Those UV lights are going to come in a sleeve similar to a regular light bulb. And they're very easy to install. Just push it down inside that hole and give it a twist. And if you look closely, I've got it fairly snug to the bolt. You want yours to be the same. On the side here, we have a tube that's going to go into that port for the distilled water to reach a jar. And if we look on the inside where that goes, you can see it circles around and it comes out of the top of the heating unit. That's going to be the pure distilled water coming out. The light distilled water is going to come out the side here. You saw that port here on the side. And if we look on the outside, there's a white tube that circles around. And I've got it running underneath here and coming out into this second jar here. Let's go ahead and hook up the water. The water actually comes in through this side unit here, another white tube. And you'll see we've got a valve to control the speed right here. And if we look over here, we can see the accessories that it came with. This allows you to adapt it to your tap and hopefully you'll have one that'll fit. I'll just go ahead and screw that onto my tap. And I'll just use a piece of rubber here to tighten it up and make sure that it's nice and snug. And now this unit is something that you would typically see on a uh, portable dishwasher or something like that. You can see I can pull it down and it'll allow me to snap it onto the bottom of that tap. Here it goes, nice and snug. And then I'll just move that over a little bit and I'll turn the water on and we'll get this water started. Okay, if I move back over to the unit here, you can see that we have just a little bit of water coming in it. When I first got my unit, I've had it for about a month now. For the first few weeks, I was actually running that water at a really high speed and I was filling it up to about halfway to the top and I was making light distilled water at the rate of about a gallon every four minutes. After speaking to John Ellis, they told me it's better to run it at a slow speed, as slow as possible in fact. And I've noticed since then, if you look at the bottom of the tank, there's a ton of sediment in there. That has come out since I started running it at a slower speed. So what that's telling me is that that sediment was actually going through at a high speed. You want to make sure you run this at the slowest speed possible to get the cleanest water out of it. Now we're going to go ahead and plug this thing in. You've got to have water in the unit to plug it in. So you can see our water level is right below that nut there. So one of the things that John Ellis suggests doing is plugging this directly into the wall. Don't plug it into an extension cord or a power bar. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Just going to plug this in here behind my washer and dryer because I'm down in the laundry room. And plug this one in as well. And then we'll go back here. And now pretty quick, we should hear it starting to boil. Okay, there's the sound right there. So now all we want to do is we want to just make sure that we maintain that level as slow as possible, about halfway up that nut there. That's going to allow the water to move back and forth many more times per hour or per gallon even and give us much cleaner water. Now we just need to let that run for a little bit so that the water can fill up to that line. Now I didn't used to use the lid when I was running the light distilled water because there wasn't a lot of steam coming off it. But I noticed in running it at a really slow pace, there's really a lot of steam that comes off the unit. So that's where the lid comes in handy because it'll actually cool the steam and disperse it a little bit. Otherwise, I always make sure that I put the lid on afterwards to keep any dust out. Okay, you can see we've got water starting to drip out of our main distilled tube right there. That's a good sign. You can see in the very bottom where the water, the boiling water is coming out that tube at the bottom. That's where the circulation happens. You can see it coming out of the side tank. It'll blast the boiling water out of there. It'll suck cold water in because the water coming from here is cold. It's going to drop to the bottom. It's going to suck that cold water in and it's going to circulate it around inside this unit here, this round heating unit. Uh, if you understand uh, Victor Schauberger's technology, it has a bit of a vortex in there, which is pushing everything up to the top, which is then allowing the two UV lights to affect the water, cleaning it.
we look back down here, we can see that we've got water now coming out of both of those spouts. And it's running fairly fast out of here right now, but that's only because there was an air bubble in it, and so it's catching up. But once that level drops down be to about half, half the height of that nut there, so there's only half of the water going through it, this is going to slow down quite a bit. When I was originally producing the light distilled water at a faster flow, I was getting about one gallon every four minutes. And you can still go ahead and do that. It's just not quite as clean. It still has the same hydrogen bond angle of 114 degrees. So it's still fantastic water. So I hope that helps in setting up your John Ellis Electron 5 water distiller. And again, it's the same for the Electron 4. If you have any questions, go to johnellis.com. They can provide you with all the information you need. There's lots of testimonials on there. And there's a couple great videos on YouTube. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on the like. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.